The functions of color reduction are to decrease the threads to use, to change the palette brand, and to change the colors to use. To decrease the number of thread colors in a design, click and drag on the track bar to the left, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. When colors are reduced, you will see that the color chips combine. This is based on those colors that cover the smallest area in the design. They are combined with similar colors. The software will make a decision about how to combine the colors. You can also manually drag a color chip to combine with another vector color. Remember, the first color chips are the vector colors and the second row of chips are the thread colors. There's also an undo and a redo button. After combining colors, if you wish to add a new color, drag a color chip to the bottom of the color reduction area where it says drag here for new color. To change that thread color, double click on the color chip Select the new color that you want to use from those listed and click OK. You can only increase the number of threads back to the initial point. The default thread color is the RGB color palette. To change the brand of thread, click on the drop down arrow and choose the brand of thread you wish to use. Remember, in options, you can change the palette order so that your favorite brand is at the top of the list. To view all the colors available for a given thread brand, choose the brand and then double click on one of the color chips. This opens a list of all the colors and you can replace any of the thread colors with another color by choosing a new color and then clicking OK you can see that the thread color chip has been replaced by the new color. The vector color chip remains the same. This is one time when you will notice a difference between draw mode and stitch mode. In draw mode, the vector color shows. However, in stitch mode, the color has been changed to the new thread color. To bring the color back, I'll go back to draw mode and open edit palette and double click on the thread chip and click on nearest color. When I do that, the thread color is replaced to match the vector color. When I click OK, my color is back both in draw mode as well as stitch mode. The brushless palette works the same way. The default paint palette is also RGB, and you can change this by clicking on the drop down arrow next to the brushes palette and choosing another palette. If I want to change a brush color, I can double click on the brush and choose a new color option. The brush palette also gives you a width column. You can sort this list by color number or color tone by clicking on color at the top of the column. You can also sort by the width of the pen. When I click OK, the color has been changed. To restore it, I'll double click and click on nearest color and the new color is added back to the palette.